What up, peace? I'm out here with the boy Rob, and for episode number four, the buddy came over. Thank you for coming out, man. No problem, dude. And we're shooting his beautiful 95 EJ with a little bit of history behind it, a little bit of story behind that engine bay. So let's go ahead and let's get it started, and I'll see you guys later. All right, guys, so I'm out here with the boy Rod. What's going on, Rod? What's up, what's up, guys? Bro, I appreciate you for coming out and showing us the car for episode number four for, no you know, the collab that we're doing with Honda, with Acura Honda Classic. Um, so tell me a little bit, what, this is a 95 EJ. It is, what paint job on it? Because I know you have, I know you just got a respray. What paint job is on the car? Like, what color is it? Oh, uh, so it's a championship white. We actually got the, um, the paint coat from Mike Chan. And that's how we end up spraying the car. The car was originally red. Okay. It's a full paint over, as you can see, uh, it was well done. Um, you know, and anything else you guys want to know, let me know. Yes, man, it looks very clean. So, so I, I see, and let's jump into right away the engine because, you know, we had to open it and look at this engine bay that you painted. You have cancer awareness all over the engine bay. Correct. So, and if you want to get a little bit into the story, I'm all about it, man. If you want to... Why the reason and why the paint job? Well, um, pretty much I lost an aunt to uh, breast cancer. It was a, you know how we island people do. We yeah. call like our moms, family, friends, someone who's really close, our aunt. Yes, yeah, sir. So when um, I lost her, I was back home in Jamaica and my mom called me with the news. When I got here, this is actually my first car that I ever bought. Um, and that gave me the idea of when I was going to spray the engine bay because I had many different other color options. But I wanted to do it something with a little bit more meaning behind it. So that's as to why I chose the, um, the pink and the awareness um, because, you know, he did lose her to cancer at a very early age. So a little bit of story behind this paint job. So my mom is actually a cancer survivor, okay. a breast cancer survivor. Yeah. So this is kind of like a, you know, a special bill for me because it kind of, you know, it kind of touches you where, you know, we got the news like maybe two years ago. And it's kind of, you know, it's kind of hard on the family. Fortunately, she's good. She's recuperated and you know we're super glad to have her so this having recorded this episode i you know i appreciate it so much for you bringing it so tell me a little bit about the engine what do we got here b series okay tell so me a little bit pretty much it was the original b16 um we converted it to a um, uh, b16 head b20 and the b16 transmission did a little bit of inside work to it um it has a fully built head uh four polish um, Protus, tongue tube cans, valves, springs, retainers, um, lost motion detect assembly. I uh, got the uh, Skunk 2 Pro series cam gears. Um, I put, put a lot of work into it, um, you know, just, and it's funny how this bill started uh, because all I wanted to do, you know, I had a, my friends always used to beat up on me if they watch this episode, you know, beat on my B16. Oh, I just man. wanted to hear a sweet sound of detect and then, you know, from the smallest things going all out you know and now you know we're here I'm, I'm glad that you know we came this far it definitely looks nice man and, um i'm sorry to cut you off so have you dynoed the car yet yes i dynoed the car how much did it make uh, it made 223 oh wow to the yeah. wheels so okay so that's a fun little number that's a that's a number that you could take it to the track, run it yeah, as many times as you want it, and take it back. Yeah, beat on it. You know, that's, you know, Hondas, they're, they're really good, reliable cars. Awesome, man. Awesome. So, actually, let's get a little bit into the interior because the interior looks very nice. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Super clean engine bay, by the way. guys so this is the interior on the ej so rod tell me a little bit about the interior like i see you got some bright seats takata harness mm -hmm. you know you got your regular sir wheel it's very basic but very nice very tasteful yeah i mean i just say. wanted to keep it real simple you know um real real simple classic you know not too different from the original i mean as you can see i got it out the back so right 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 left back there and um i just kept the two front seats and everything else kept all the panels and everything up front and really to go full gut just a halfway i mean it's a very nice simple interior man i like it i like the i'm very much to the oem feel so i like your 
SIR uh, steering wheel and the side and the seats look very nice to say at least you know like with a Takata harness look very nice man so let's go in the back of the car and maybe we can lift it up also and check out the suspension on it. All right, so we're here in the back of the car. Um, so, and man, I gotta tell you, the paint job looks look very nice. The camera doesn't do justice how good it looks. So, for the exhaust, we have a World Sport exhaust, and I believe you told me it was a three inch all the way back, right? Yeah, correct, three inch full pipe all the way back. So when you turned it on, it actually sounded like a K series, and I thought I was out. I, I was not. I didn't see it, but I heard it. And I was like, oh, it's a K series that we're doing a review. But then I saw it was a B series. So a World Sport exhaust always sounds very nice. So you have the mud flaps in the back for the EJ. Yep. Looks very nice, man. So actually, if you want, let's just lift it up. Let's check out the suspension on it because it's a very nice, clean little car, man. And I want to see what suspension setup you're running. All right, Rod, so we're in the bottom. I see you have some PLM headers. Up. running straight back to the cat back and yeah it's the three inch what you mentioned but i want to go over the suspension so tell me a little bit about the suspension so um currently right now i'm running uh function and form and uh upper uh skunk two control arms uh okay. and the rear camber kit as well okay with steel braided lines that i see here yeah with steel braided brake lines all the okay. way back okay so just you know little tweaks that you can do on a honda of course so let's go to the back i see that you also have Function form obviously in the back and then what LCAs are you running on it here? Oh, these are blocks. Okay, so these are blocks. So yeah. this is the whole block setup here yeah, in the back. Yeah, this is the whole block setup. This is the Beaks bar, but everything else is block. And then the camera kit there. Perfect, perfect. And also your steel braided line here. Man, super clean, man. I really like, I really like this build. Very simple, very clean. Apex works for sport, for sport exhaust. One other thing that um, I do mention, these cars normally come with a drum. Uh-huh. And we actually converted it over to the rear disc. Okay, so this has a rear disc conversion. Yeah, actually, yeah, I was looking at it. Yeah. Nice, man. Uh, little things like that. Sweet. Got the Skunk 2. These have Skunk 2 camera kits on yeah, it, right? Yeah, Skunk 2 camera kits. Oh, perfect, perfect. Kit. What tires are you running on it? These are uh, Toyos, right? Yeah, so these are Toyo proxies. Okay. Okay, and um, we fitted it on the Rota slips. All right. And these look like they're grippy, huh? It looks like these tires are a little bit grippy, huh? Yeah, no, they grip. They grip. But on the Toyos, they hook. Nice, man. All right, guys. So once again, I want to thank my man, Rod, for coming out. No problem, dude. Showing us her, his 95 uh, EJ. Cool, super clean championship wine paint job. I've it's been a while since I've seen a clean one like that. So once again, appreciate them. Oh Remember, guys, to hit the thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one, and thank you for enjoying episode number four. I'll see you.